Pictures coming up. Pictures. Oh man, there is. Have we finally found a way to revive Glamrock Bonnie? Will this incredible information give us clues as to what's going to happen in the ruined DLC? And has somebody really gone ahead and leaked the trailer to the DLC? You ain't going to want to miss this video. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Science with Paparaz. The series in which you give me your myths, theories, and experiments to blow open the secrets of FNAF Security Breach. Although, quickly, um, whilst today's episode is really hype and there's loads of stuff to do with Glamrock Bonnie, there's something that I've got to get off my chest. Will you? He always comes back except for his kids Afton versus Creepy Tickle Fingers Claw Boy. Who would win in a fight? Pop your answers in the comment section below. Your mother? Today's first exciting myth of the day has been sent in by the fantastic Gage. For the chica room with the cupcakes, there is an Easter egg where if you pick up a present on the far end of the room, the main cupcake's eyes will follow you. Okay, so in the previous episode, we went to an area I've never been before. This is an area that I've never never explored, I didn't even know it existed, but apparently this is just a whole area for Chica and her cupcake factory, which by the way, we never actually get to taste Chica's cake. And I wanted to come in here and- oh, I wanted to come in here and wet myself apparently! No, I wanted to come in here and- Who's here? Oh, of course it's Roxy! I want to come in here and show the place off because I don't think many other people have been here before, but apparently there is an item that you can get in the far corner. So we're gonna go and get that, and apparently one of the cupcake's eyes, maybe it's the golden one, because he looks special over there. Maybe it's the golden boy. His eyes start following us. Nah, though. That jump scare was mean. <laughs> right, now he's gone over there. Let's go. Whoa, it's chimney Christmas. It's too much. Okay. Whoa, why is he in here? What's going on? Why are there so many boys here? Guys, if you're hyped for another Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Myths video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. And hey, if this video right here gets 1,000 beautiful likes before the video is one hour old, I'll go ahead and give you another Myths video to do with the DLC and Glamrock Bonnie. And you don't want to miss it. Smash like. And the massive Away for a free copy of FNAF Security Breach is still ongoing to celebrate the announcement of the DLC coming out. So if you would like a chance at winning one of the free copies I'm going to be giving away, all you need to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Now the comment could be anything. Tell me who your favorite FNAF character is. Tell me when you joined the FNAF franchise. Give me a myth for our myths series. Now, myths in particular, I want myths to do with Glamrock Bonnie and DLC. And obviously things that you think will happen in the DLC. So subscribe Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Good luck! Now, speaking of bringing people back from the dead, hidden deep within the Pizza Plex lies an arcade machine that has been untouched by time! And I have finally learned how to switch that bad boy on! What you're about to see is gonna blow your mind! Welcome to the Age of Origins! The zombie apocalypse has thrown humanity into the dark ages. Now you, yes you, are the light in the darkness. I'm trusting you to bring humanity back from the brink of extinction. I'm not gonna be mad if you fail. I'm just gonna be disappointed. So don't be a disappointment in my eyes and download Age of Origins down in the description below right now. It is free, baby. And also the sponsor of today's video. Thank you very much, mommy and daddy. Survive, revive, and thrive. That's the motto of this game, baby. Age of Origins allows players to try their hand at a tower defense game. The zombies, the zombies are coming for your cheeks. And unless you're into some nasty stuff, you don't want that to happen. To use various different exciting tower combinations to eliminate the threat. Each one of these exciting towers has their own unique traits and abilities that the players must work out different combinations to eliminate the zombies. But if you thought these normal zombies was all you were gonna face, you'd be wrong. So very wrong. You can also recruit zombies. Genshin and Empress are two titans that each commander can take them to a battle. They have unique skills and can do incredible damage to the enemies. And there are also many worldwide battles with players from different worlds and planets that you can have fun with. So what are you waiting for? Please be my light in the darkness. <laughs> Save the world. By using my link down in the description below, you can enjoy 60 whole dollars worth of free gifts to go be my light in the darkness and save me from these rabid beasts. <laughs> so apparently, it's over in the corner. This is what happens when I don't miss. Now I'm not used to all the frights. Do I hide in here? Ah! I should probably should have in there. Probably should have hidden there. That's great. That's absolutely fantastic. That guy just jump scared me. Do I go through here? Oh, where is this item? Oh, is it this one? I, I don't know. I don't know. Why is somebody leaving a present in the toilet? If I go to a toilet and see a present, I automatically assume somebody's left a big old greasy pizza. 
Oliver Stein. Are his eyes looking at me? Is his goofy little eyes looking at me? No, his eyes aren't looking. Oh my lord, I just looked up there and there he is. He is looking at me. That cupcake is looking at me. Ayo! I love it when your myths are real. There, yeah, 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 yeah. His eyes just popped around to have a look. <laughs> That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for that myth. It's something that I have never noticed in this game, and that's what I'm loving. Six months, seven months after the game's been out, we're still finding amazing things. This is great. The next exciting myth of the day has been sent in by the fantastic Lefty, who tried to use the blaster on Vanny and then do it on Vanessa. See if it works. I'll bet you think you're real clever, Gregory. There's my baby yeah, girl. I know who you you're in big trouble. Ooh. This is not the night to be Punish me, mommy. Stop right there, criminal scum. Okay, so the aim of the game right here is we're going to escape real quick with Gregory, and then we're going to discuss the plan a little bit more because I don't want to get jump scared by Vanessa real quick, or Vanny, should I say. So, Vanny's going to be in there. Vanny's going to be hunting us down. But we're not going to worry about her just yet. What I want to go ahead and do is... Now, what they were saying, what Lefty was saying in the, the their comment or their myth was that they want to be able to see if we could use the blaster on Vanessa, which we can. Vanessa can be blasted and she can have the fast camera to stun her. It's very funny because you're not supposed to have them at that point. However, Vanny, you cannot do or, or use either of the things on her if we have a little try here. Long range does not work, so we can't do any of that. However... What happens if we let her jump scare us? Can we use the jump scare glitch in which we fire off the blaster as she jump scares us to get out of a tricky situation? So I'm going to try that with the camera first, but she's got to start coming toward. <laughs> Look at the way she runs! Hey, yo! Nope, that didn't work. That didn't work. I pressed it pretty damn quickly. So we'll, we're going to try again, but we'll use the fast blaster this time. Now, do we feel lucky? She's seen us. Her head is snapping around. It's absolutely moving. There she is. She's going to run towards us. She, when's she going to do that silly run? Come on, baby girl. Show me your stuff, baby girl. Show me your stuff, baby girl. Come on. There she is. You're not going to... For real? That, that was right in her dome, that was. So she's got, like, protective lenses on. Okay, we ready? No, no, doesn't work, doesn't work. Unfortunately not. It's a shame because you can actually do that to the moon. You can actually do that to stop the moon jump scaring you. Unfortunately, myth busted, you can't blast Vanny. My oh my, what is going on here, ladies? I need to take a picture of this momentous occasion. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, oh, I did the jump scare. I did the jump scare trick. I did the jump scare trick. I did the jump scare trick. Oh, Freddy, 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 Freddy. Please let me aside you, Freddy. This is very scary. <laughs> That was a horrible, horrible situation. Horrible situation. Did you see that? My reflexes just saved me. So you know, you know your boy was getting that right before. You know your boy was getting that right before. Let's take a second here. To refresh the heart rate. Let's take a quick second. That is just insanity. That is absolute insanity. Did you see what happened there? Wow, I got jump scared from behind because Vanessa caught us, but it's fine. Oh, look at her. Look at her, Roxanne. You look much better with your eyes in, although, although you deserved it. Look at the way Vanessa moves. The way she moves across the floor is just, oh, it's just absolutely artistic. The way she moves, this is why she gets paid the big bucks. This is why she gets all the money. Yes! <laughs> and people who say Vanessa isn't a robot, they're just kidding themselves at this point. So the next exciting myth of the day has been sent in by the fantastic Galaxy FNAF and Dino. Try to find a secret Gregory rumor from the DLC that he is calling out for help in. Okay, I get you, Galaxy and Dino. So what you're saying is because Gregory is calling for help in this DLC ruin image, we should try and find out that room that Gregory is trying to broadcast this image in. Anyway, here we are in the first possible location. I don't think it will be here, though, because this is just a sec security office. And this looks like a place to receive broadcasts as opposed to there doesn't seem to be any sort of technology that seems to be broadcast or that you're able to live stream your face or record anything from. So I doubt it's this room here. Oh, Jiminy Christmas, the way you just barge through that door there, buddy. That is insane. <laughs> I love you, man. I absolutely love you, but that, that is just heart attack inducing there. The next room that could possibly do it is probably Vanny's room. She seems to have the technology when she's broadcasting when we've been locked up in the little the lost and found area that we saw earlier on, like two seconds ago. This is probably the area where 
she was broadcasting from. So, I'm guessing this is probably the I'm, I'm most likely location. Plus, Gregory knows where this place is because he's been there because you have to be here for the Saving Vanessa ending, which everybody assumes is the canon ending and what has led on to the ruined DLC and Gregory getting captured. So, I reckon it's probably this room here, but there's so many, like... Could you please stop scaring me, buddy? You're eyeballing me in the dark, and honestly... My heart can't take it anymore. Either way, let me know down in the comment section below which room do you think Gregory is hiding out in where he's able to broadcast. I think this is the most likely location. But I love hearing your thoughts and theories, so get tippity typing them away. I still love that if you go through this doorway right here, you end up in Bonnie Ball. Yeah, you just end up in the back of Bonnie Ball. And not only that, is if you pick up this box here... It's Golden Monty. Of all the animatronics you could find in the bowels of Bonnie Ball, why would it be Monty? Huh? Isn't that just a little bit insensitive? Which, by the way, we're going to come back and we're going to look behind this curtain later on in the episode because I've got something really good. I, because of all these myths that we've been doing in the, the previous episodes and we've been building upon ending upon ending, people have been telling me to go behind this curtain and have a look. But we're going to do that uh, later on in the episode because I need a uh, watch time wink. <laughs> and the fact that Bonnie Ball is linked to Vanessa's room is just another indicator of the shady business that befelled my bunny rabbit boy and... Still makes me sad. It still makes me sad that he has gone the way of the angels. Steel will bring Bonnie back. Now this is the moment you've all been waiting for. You saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. So this is why you've clicked the video most likely unless you're here for my face, which thank you, like and subscribe for some more. Either way, this exciting myth has been sent in by Banana Kid. What happens if you play all the princess quests and then do the Bonnie ending? Will Bonnie be saved? That right there is a very good myth and something I want to explore, but at the same time, I want to combine it with this myth. What happens if you find Bonnie's remains? Will it lead to him or will it lead to something else? These two myths together are just gonna be Mwah! Does anybody else smell Montgomery Gator's musk? I really despise myself. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're back in Monty's icky, sticky, swamp filled fast balls. <laughs> nope, that's a different area that we're not messing about with. Actually, that area has just been trashed because we're at 5 a.m., so he's lost his lower half. So presumably his faz area has been smooshed to absolutely nothing. We shouldn't be talking about that because that is insensitive. Anyway, we are back here to get the Bonnie and Monty end, and we want to see what happened between Monty and Bonnie. And we've gone through about a billion different steps to get to this point. However, However, this is the final step in which we need to go ahead and beat the mini golf game. And as you can see, we've done it right because Bonnie's over there. My man, but we don't want to go ahead and do this all sloppy. No, thank you very much. I'm a pro golfer, so I'm going to do this in style. And I'm going to get a hole in one. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, your boy. Your boy deserves a like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Gently does it, ladies and gentlemen, on hole nine. Which, by the way, look at that score. That's a that's a score right there. I gotta smack that ball a little bit harder. There we go. There we go. Look at that score. That there might be the best score I've ever had. That is an amazing score. And I've definitely earned my prize. <laughs> Watching Bonnie go bye-bye. <laughs> my boy Bonnie, there he is. Oh, he looks so handsome. There he is. He's walking away. We've seen this before. We're finding out right now what Bonnie's been up to and why he went missing. He was trying to free Vanessa's soul from the, the glitch trap virus curse. And uh, then for some reason, he decided to go to Monte Golf <laughs> to take in a couple of games of golf. There's Vanessa. She's there. She's laughing away. She's like, this no, you do. Do not free my soul, thank you very much. Disassemble Bonnie there, dear Monty. Bonnie says hi to his friend, but then his friend betrays him. He does the old uh, Brutus Julius Caesar scenario and gets absolutely done in from behind. Good job, dear. You need to cover your tracks. And this is where we learn where Bonnie's been hiding the entire game. We learn that Bonnie has in fact been in Bonnie Ball the entire time. F's in the chat for dear sweet Bonnie, though. F's in the chat. My man was just out there trying to save Vanessa, trying to free Vanessa from Glitchtrap's curse, but at the end of the day, he was caught, and it's just a El Bozo situation. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll learn more in the DLC. However, we have got some more information. Now that we've learned where Bonnie is and what happened to Bonnie and what the situation was between Bonnie and Monty and Vanessa, or Vanny, should I say, we can now go back, we can free Vanessa via the Princess Quest mini-games, and after we've done that, 
that is when hopefully we'll get a very good ending. Okay, okay, so real quickly, we're going back up to Bonnie Bowl because we need to see if Bonnie is actually hiding behind the curtain before we go ahead and do anything else because then we know we've done everything right so far. That door got jammed there. That's a little bit making me a little bit... Oh, oh, oh who's there? Oh, oh, Monty! Monty, 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 Why is Monty up here? Why is my boy up here? He's making so many horrible noises. Oh. Where's he gone? Where's he go? Huh? I don't like this. I really don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like that. Please, please stop. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. I'm pretty certain we've done the right thing. Oh, Monty's obviously up here now because he's patrolling the area. He doesn't want anybody else to harm his friend because it's not Monty's fault at the end of the day. I don't think Monty did it. He was... Con well, he didn't. We saw. It was Vanessa. Vanessa was controlling him or using glitch trap to control Monty to then go ahead and get rid of Bonnie. And I mean, it wasn't his fault. So, let's see what happens when we go behind the curtain. I'm sweating, I'm sweating so much. Bonnie, daddy's home! <laughs> well, I guess I'm asked what to get <laughs> Wow, okay, that jump scare was actually a death scare because I'm gone. I'm actually... <sighs> okay, no, we're fine. We're fine, we're totally fine. We're actually fine because I just got jump scared by Bonnie. That's what I say for that's what I get for saying Daddy's home. Oh, please don't clip that out of context. All I'm gonna read in the comment section after this video is Daddy's home, Daddy's home, Daddy's home. <laughs> well, well, we found Bonnie. Bonnie was there. Okay, let's compose ourselves. Let's go back to the Princess Quest mini games and let's complete them now. And hopefully we can free everyone. We're here to complete Princess Quest number three minigame. So let's get in there, let's complete this, and let's save the day. Let's free Vanessa's soul, because we're heroes. Let's go. Princess Quest. This was a great game. Th this was perfect, by the way, this minigame. This was absolutely perfect that we were able to do this, because this is just traditional FNAF at this point. Going through minigames, getting the secret lore, getting the good endings, and I think that's why uh, most people are thinking that this is the good ending, because of how difficult it is to get this one. Because you've got to go and do all the minigames, which is goes back to FNAF 3, doesn't it? Where you had to find the secret minigames and get all the puzzles done and everything to, to win the day. Oh, it's gamer mode time. Gamer mode activate! We need to make sure that we get Oh, no, 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 quickly, get the heart, get the heart. We're, 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 oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. I got a couple of them gone. There we go. It's the, it's the long range boys. They're the ones that are the trouble, but it's all right. It's all right. Here we go, Vanessa. It's not even Vanessa, is it? It's my girl, Cassidy. My girl, Cassidy, coming in to save the day. Everybody thinks that maybe the DLC girl is actually this girl in the Princess Quest minigame, Cassidy, who is apparently Golden Freddy as well. It's, it's it's so confusing, but the reincarnated spirit of Cassidy is the DLC girl. Again, let me know your thoughts and theories down in the comment section below. But it is time to finally, hopefully, get the best ending we possibly can. That scream, man. That scream is just glitch trap going away. That scream is just something that I like to dream about at the end of the day. It is beautiful. It is wondrous. And it's something... It's something I love. It's a shame that to get to this point, we, um... We had to say goodbye to Freddy's body. It was a good bod, though. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a head now. Here we go. Error. Video game broke. But it's fine. Princess Quest, we completed the game. I and there we are. It's time to go. Where's my boy Freddy? There they are. There's all the animatronics. They're lying on the ground. They're powerless. Eh? And they've just been shut down. It's finally time. We see Vanessa's hair up in the top corner as she's thrown the vanny mask to the floor. Got rid of the bow tie because the bow ties aren't fashionable. And there's Gregory somehow using his superhuman strength to rip Freddy's head off. And there we go. Go on, superstar. And there it is. It's come back soon. There it is. There's the guy. It was a three-star ending, but we didn't get anything out. Maybe, 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 maybe it's the scene afterwards. Maybe it's the scene afterwards. Maybe it's the scene at the end. Well, we finally learn what happened to Bonnie. We did all these steps. Please tell me there's something else. I love this ending. I absolutely love this ending. And this is the ending that a lot of people are thinking is the canon ending and the ending that's going to lead us on to ruin. However, why did Gregory go back? Why did Gregory go back to the pizzeria? Was it just because they needed to get rid of Afton? Because in this ending, they technically haven't gone below the pizzeria, have they? They haven't done anything with the pizzeria. They've freed Vanessa. But obviously, Vanessa's going to know about Afton in the bowels of the building and what she did. 
and why everything happened the way it did. So, I think this could possibly be the canon ending. Vanessa's explained to Gregory and Freddy what's gone on, and they've had a little team meeting and gone, hmm, this isn't going to stop until Afton is gone for good. He keeps coming back. So they've tried to go back, and they've been captured. And that's why Gregory is asking for help, and maybe that's why Cassidy's there, or, well, everybody's saying it's Cassidy. I don't want to say it's Cassidy, because we don't know. It was the DLC girl. She's there to go and hopefully save Gregory and put an end to Afton. Wor woman power. She's on our girl boss grind. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Pictures coming up. Pictures. Oh, man, there it is. There it is, they've not actually left officially. They've obviously turned around after Vanessa was holding the door open for them. And there's Glamrock body. A shattered Glamrock body there with Freddy and the rest of them. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's, it's amazing. They must have gone back and fixed Freddy. I've just realized. They must have had a spare Freddy body lying around because Freddy was quite intact there. Oh, it's so good. Man, I love that they fixed Freddy as well. That's like the ultra good ending, isn't it? That's like the ultra good ending. They decided to go back, fix Freddy as well before leaving. That's just, it's just so good. But I suppose there's no threats going on then, is there? Because Afton's just down in his peepot Afton chamber, just vibing, not doing very much. And then... Vanessa's been freed, so the Afton virus is going to be doing anything. Nobody's controlling the animatronics anymore, so they could just go fix up Freddy real quick and then just leave. They all just swagger out and enjoy the rest. Of, well, don't enjoy the rest of their lives because they're going to come back for the DLC and finish off Afton for good. But it was amazing. So once again, a massive shout out to the the, the incredibly talented Snartles, Barry, and Heisey for helping me out with this video. Please go and check them out on Twitter. You will not be disappointed by the work they do. All the links will be down in the description below. And thank you for working with me on things like this because. Because without you, my stuff would not be anywhere near as good. And the FNAF community would not be anywhere near as good either. The, there's so many negative things happening in the FNAF community. In every community. But when you get rays of light like this, we need to shine the positivity here. So thank you very much. Please go and follow them because they will brighten your day. And once again, a massive shout out to the legends over at Age of Origins for sponsoring today's video. Remember to go and check out the game for yourself. It is well worth it. I promise you. And it's free. So you may as well go and download it. All new accounts as well. If you enter the code Razbowski, you'll get loads of free gifts and they're worth like $60. So you definitely got to want to do that. So down in the description below, click that link, go and download it. It makes me look amazing as well. So, hey, it's a win-win for us all, right? Either way, you boys going to get out of here. Right about my face just now, there's going to be another couple of videos I know you'll enjoy. So click on one of them bad boys and I'll see you over there. Either way, I've been Razbowski. You've been the beautiful Raspberries as always for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.